Okay guys, so I finally have received my Solex security locks. So these are something that I've wanted for quite a few years. Um, mainly because they're sort of just quite period and I don't know. I've seen them on a few cars uh, in the past and I just really, really wanted a set. So a bit of luck. I was flicking through Instagram and an image of these locks came up when I clicked on that image. It came up with a chap called Phil Lamb, and uh, yeah, he was doing a group buy, so I jumped straight on it. It's been a good few months, I've had to wait, um, but yeah, I finally received them. So I thought that I'd share with you what's included in the contents, and I'm going to have a go at fitting them to the car. Okay, let's have a look and see what's inside. Okay, so I've got three locks, which is all my car requires, because it is a, a three door, one for the boot and two for the doors. Got uh, a key ring, by the looks of it, and a master key. Oh wow, okay. So it has a light, so at night you can uh, find where the uh, where the lock is so that's pretty cool ah okay so these are the fittings and a bit of got a couple of extra keys let's break it open Some installation instructions which to be fair I will probably have to reference so that's pretty good I'm glad that I've got those so yeah got the retaining clips just here and uh, some I think some surround some inserts a couple of spare keys or three of as I can see by the looks of it so that's pretty good I'm not sure if it's one key for one lock but I'll find that out and some extra fixings and these clips here which will uh, retain the rod which actuates the door lock so yeah i'll get all this open and uh have a have a quick read and i'll see if i can get on and uh, strip the door cards to get them fitted okay so purely because it seems to be the easiest one to get to i'm going to start with the boot lock so, just got to remove this panel, which is held in with these pushing clips. So I'll remove that now and, uh, yeah, try and remove the lock. Okay guys, so by the looks of it, all I have to do is pull this clip out and uh, yeah, the lock comes straight out. So I don't know if you can see, but if I use the key to turn, there's just that arm, you can just about see, and it just hits that arm, which uh, which releases the boot. So no, uh, no wires or cables or anything attached to the boot. So this one should be really easy to remove. So um, yeah, I'll pull this out and uh, yeah, remove the lock. Okay, it's quite stiff. So I'm gonna use the screwdriver. Big old clip. And there is the lock. Okay, so you can see the obvious differences between the two. This is the original lock, and you can see that it's a uh, it's got a different uh, latch to the one that comes with the Solex lock. 
and they simply hold on or secured sorry with these e-clips so all i'm going to do is uh take this off the original put it on the solex and hopefully it should go straight in okay so just by using uh some watchmaker screwdrivers this one i've already started but i basically got the screwdriver in there and i just wedged the uh the e-clip out i've already done the solex lock the clip is just here and that's the latch there which we no longer need to use so i've worked out by turning clockwise that unlocks my boot so that works both with this original lock and with the solex so i know that this orientation just here is what i need to replicate on the solex okay it's a bit of a tight fit but the shape of the uh, the oem uh, link compared to the Solex one fits nice. I've now just got to uh, yeah fit this e-clip and hopefully all works well. Okay, so I'm just going to try it out. Seems to be working just as the OEM one did, which is nice. So yeah, I'll just get this back in the boot. Okay, let's see if this fits. Straight in. Nice. Okay, so I've measured the two um, clips, so this is the uh, original one, and this is one of the ones that comes with the kit. You get three of, and I've noticed that this width here is wider than these, so I assume there's slight differences in the locks. So I'm actually going to use uh, the ones that come with the Solex kit, even though really I would rather have used this because it's easier if I ever want to remove it because of this tab here, but I'm going to go with these ones. Okay guys, so as you just saw, I had to remove the, uh, the latch just to gain that little bit more access. So what I found out is, and it makes sense the ones which will go in the door, but if you can see just here, there's a little cutout. Let me remove this. So you can see this bit goes all the way up. And then there's a cutout. But the way that Solex is written, if that was straight on the boot, usually the original clasp went this way. So you can pull it out. But as you can see, the cutouts means that has to be pushed in from the side. Okay, that's the latch back on. Moment of truth. That's the boot locked. Perfect. Okay, nice. So other than that clip, as mentioned, really, really easy job. So I'll uh, put this panel back on and I'll move on to the doors and uh, yeah, removing the, uh, the door panels. Okay, so to remove an A86 uh, door card, you need to remove the little screw which is in here and it will remove this bezel. 
There's a little spring just behind the window winder if you have the manual um, window winders like I do. There's a little spring behind there. A uh, little bit of a fiddle to get out, but if you use a small head screwdriver, you can pry it out nice and easy. Remove this. This usually just pulls off. And then these two bits under here. There's two, uh, I think they were 12 millimeter headed bolts. Uh, and then there's just clips around the door frame. So yeah, I'll get on and do that now. Okay guys, that's the door card removed. And uh, just started pulling away this plastic sheet. And then you can see the lock that I'm trying to get to. So a lot more room than the boot. Um, I thought this was going to be a little bit more difficult. So fingers crossed, this shouldn't actually be other than these bars. So these bars are what connect the, uh, the door mechanism. So when I pull this, you can see it operates the door latch. And uh, this upper one here is what controls the lock. So this here, you can just see it moving as I uh, operate the lock. So yeah, I'll disconnect the rod remove that little spring clip and uh, yeah the lock should come out okay guys first of all I just need to remove this white clip here which is easy enough to do you can just use your finger and uh, with a little bit of light pressure you can remove it from the rod and now the rod there you go just falls out of the lock so now I can remove that uh, that clasp and the lock will easily come out the door. Okay, there you go. That's the lock and the clasp. So once again, this one has like a 90 degree bend or two 90 degree bends. I may see if I can reuse this one also. If I can reuse this one on the Solex lock, I'd prefer that. So I'll give that a go first. If not, I'll look through the different types of, um, of fittings we have with the Solex lock and I'll fit which one suits best. Okay guys, so it's very, very close, but the uh, original latch fits. So uh, yeah, I'm going to fit it to the car. You, ha you have to be careful, so in the instructions... It states depending which way your original lock uh, locks the car, whether it's clockwise or anti-clockwise, it is dependent on on that. So mine was clockwise to lock the car. Depending on that, it then states which one of these locks that you need to use um, for the driver's side, which is the right-hand side of the car, is this one for mine. So when I turn clockwise, this latch turns clockwise which lifts the rod which then locks the door so uh, yeah be careful of that Okay guys, so I've had to remove this um, and actually use one of the uh, latches which comes with the kit. And the reason that is, is when I was, uh, when I turned this to the 90 degree position to then remove the key, it would only actually go to about the 45. Um, and it actually explains that in here. Um, of that reason, and if it does happen, then you have a selection of uh, these keys to use so I've gone for number one okay so it is finally fitted so I've used the original white uh, retaining clip you do get green ones with the kit but this one fitted really well so I just used it use the new um, retaining clasp to hold it in place and uh, yeah it all works really well so I just need to put all this clear plastic back as well as the uh, door card 
and I will do the exact same with the driver, uh, the passenger side, sorry. I won't show you guys that because it is exactly the same as this one. But yeah, really like the look of these. It's just very retro and it's just a nice little add-on. Um, and being that the car is silver and black, it's really nice that these match. So um, yeah, I'll put Phil's uh, details in the description below. I'm sure he has kits available still, or if not, if you want to join up with another group buy, I'm sure he'll do one. So yeah, get in contact. They fit multiple cars. This kit in particular states that it fits all these cars, so not just Japanese. But yeah, really good kit. Nice quality. So yeah, really chuffed. But thanks for watching, guys. Please uh, like and subscribe. Uh, and leave a comment uh, if you choose to. And uh, yeah, hope to catch you in the next one.